Infatti italiani a Gand al Museo del Design, questa piccola splendida città del nord, eh, del nord Europa, ospita una veramente bella collezione di design e una gran parte è design italiano. A parlare con noi è il direttore, il dottor Livan Danans. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, it's interesting to see a so uh, beautiful m museum. Uh, when uh, was born the idea of this uh, museum? Oh, that was early in the uh, uh, 20th century. I think the museum was founded 1903 as a private initiative. And uh, the collection was growing, of course. And they had a lack of space because the museum was in those days not in the place where it is now. So it came here in 1922, but it was still private initiative, and it uh, was private until 1958. Then the city of Ghent took over uh, the collection, and uh, immediately, After that, it was closed for so-called uh, restoration work at the building, but nothing happened. And finally, in 1973, it reopened, but that was just with the old collection, which is now partly on show in the, in the main building where you entered. Uh, but that's a mid-18th century building, so... It was a little bit logic that uh, just the 18th century collection was presented. Then in 70, no, no, uh, in 92, we opened uh, a new wing where we have now four floors, two for a selection of our permanent collection and two for temporary exhibitions. But I must say, we just focus on uh, 20th century and contemporary design. The old collection uh, which we have, we consider that as a closed collection, so we don't make new acquisitions. It's, uh, it's like it is, that's it. But we just concentrate on 20th century and contemporary. We found a big part of Italian design yes. in uh, your museum. That's quite normal, <laughs> as Italian design is uh, very important uh, in the international design world. Uh, so what we have from Italy is mainly uh, from the Alchemia Memphis period, with all the big stars. We have a lot, of, a lot more, but it's uh, due to the lack of space. It's uh, kept in uh, storage, unfortunately. We can't show <laughs> it all, but we have a good collection of uh, and good relations uh, we had with uh, and still have with uh, Alessandro Mendini, Andrea Branzi. Um, we had a good contact with uh, Ettore Sotsas, of which we have a lot a of lot objects lot. Uh, and so many other Italian designers. Also with uh, Alessi we have good contact. We have uh, a lot of objects by uh, produced by Alessi or produced under the flag of Alessi. We have the 100% made cup. Uh, we have I think six Uh, from the ten objects from the tea and, uh, tea and coffee piazza, and then five or six from the later edition tea and coffee towers, and we keep uh, collecting uh, Alessi the best objects. <laughs> 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 yes. Thank you. And from time to time, some special objects. Uh, like here, the unique face from uh, Andrea Branzi. But I have seen that in your office there is a part of the museum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a the the space. small part, <laughs> depending on the, um, on the space we have. 
which is always... Uh, uh, there is some idea to make the museum bigger? Yeah, we plan a new extension, uh, uh, but due to the lack of money, <laughs> we still... Also here wait. in Gand, the lack of here, money. <laughs> also here, that's a worldwide problem, <laughs> worldwide. Not only in economy, but also in culture. Yeah, we have to live with that and be patient. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Dernens. It's my pleasure.